everybody welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome i am the digital empress aka taylor so as we have noticed i did not get to upload my day tour video for the advent challenges today i'm actually still really pissed about it like i'm still in brat mode i'm just i'm over it i went into full digital forensics mode to try and recover all my data that i lost yesterday video file got corrupted because i had too much space in my final cut pro program and it corrupted the video when it was trying to render so like i got the video uploaded i don't know if you guys caught it but i uploaded it but it was only like 40 seconds you didn't get to see like my walk through like what i did to you know how i worked through the burp because we all had issues with like the instructions in the walkthrough video and then like once i finally figured out how to do it myself without following the instructions it was actually pretty easy and the video was only like six minutes long but i'm still pissed because i wanted to be consistent and have a video up here every day of the week but but yeah i'm back today and i'm going to be doing day five challenge with you guys it looks pretty easy it's an xss cross-site scripting um web exploitation uh challenge so i've already watched the walkthrough video and read through the notes and everything i just have to go through um and crack the flag um but i do want to show you guys here that i have finished checking taking notes from my bug bounty program book or boot camp book about picking a bug bounty program and after reading this chapter i think that i want to start with bdps which are vulnerability disclosure programs you don't necessarily get paid for those, but you do get like reputation points or war points, which could count for you getting invited to private bug bounty programs. So, which could then be paid. And then when you are in private programs, there's less competition because there's only a small amount of hackers um, participating in that program. So yeah, I'm gonna start with that first and then move on to paid programs when I get more comfortable but my goal is to get my first paid bug bounty for the first time um I just have to build up some skills confidence and stuff like that to get to that point but yeah that's my goal for right now and um I don't care the amount you know it could be ten dollars twenty dollars fifty dollars I just want to check that goal off my list I finished uh chapter one and now I am taking notes on chapter two and this is basically taking us through writing a good report and as you can see it starts with step one is crafting a descriptive title i've seen some people's um write-ups on twitter medium i've read through them and seen their reports just to get um an overview of what that process looks like and they're basically taking us on the journey of how you write those very descriptive very convincing um vulnerability reports which is fun i'm very excited about the writing portion because i'm a pretty good writer but yeah that's it for bug bounty um i'm gonna try and get to chapter five today um we're learning about exploiting x x s s today um they discuss that in other types of web vulnerabilities in chapter three and in chapter five we're going to be doing web recon reconnaissance so today doesn't really line up with the book anymore kind of moving on to like uh searching up what a company what a website is holding as far as information um it's already four o'clock here. I really hate DMV time. It just, it just really makes me feel like I'm like trying to beat time every day. But there's no time, and it's like at 3 p.m. because it's daylight savings time. It's already getting dark. Like when 3 p.m. hits, the sun is setting. Like there's no sunlight right now. I hate it. Oh, but yeah, let's hop into this challenge today so I can calm my nerves the story today is the elf form is where all the elves express their joy and excitement about christmas but grinch enterprises has one bad account and they've installed a plugin that changes all mentions of christmas to butt miss 
Big Skitty needs to find that admin account and disable the plugin. Running object objectives are what is an XS as vulnerability what types of xss vulnerabilities are there and then the challenge walkthrough i already watched the video um i've read through this and an xss vulnerability is an injection attack where a malicious javascript gets injected into a web application with the intention of being executed by other users and there are four types of xss vulnerabilities dom which stands for dom document object model yeah document object model and is a programming interface for html and xml documents and then there is reflected xss which happens when a user supplies data and an http request is included in the web page source without any validation stored which i think this is the one we're going to be exploiting today from what the description is um it's a xss payload that is stored on the web application in a database for example and then gets run when the other users visit the site or web page and then there's blind which is similar to stored but the instance you can't see the payload payload working or be able to test it against yourself first Right, so I'm not going to run Kali today for this challenge because I really don't feel like connected to the VPN. And then from what I've watched in the walkthrough video that they put for this challenge, uh, you don't really need to like connect to Kali. You can do this right on your whatever browser that you have on your local machine. And I have somewhere to be. So we're just gonna get right into it. We're gonna start the machine. Y'all, I'm still like very pissed about yesterday. Like I'm gonna be pissed until like, I'm gonna be pissed until I catch up in this book and get all the notes. Like I'm serious about my study time and my work time. I'm so serious, like I get so pissed. I care about nothing else until I get caught up in all my studies and I have all my ducks in a row. I hope everybody's Sunday and entire weekend has been great so far. And has been better than mine. Yeah, I really hope your weekend has been better than mine because I've been tired, I've been stressed, slightly depressed. <laughs> okay, we got our IP address. So let's see. We've done that. Now let's go to this one. Okay. So we are here at the vulnerable website, the L forum login. And if you receive an error, wait 30 seconds and try it. We don't have that. Here you'll find the L's forum, okay, where they talk about and spread the joy of Christmas. As you explore the forum and click on the different topics and threads, you'll notice that every mention of Christmas has been changed to butt miss. Okay, let's see so excited can't wait i was wondering like what was going on in the when i was watching the video i was like why is everything but miss because i kind of like blanked out when he was uh he didn't really read through the walkthrough he just kind of like went through it um and i was like why does everything say but miss and now i know and i was like what the heck is going on so everything says but miss here but miss but miss christmas that's kind of funny though <laughs> the grinch is a menace because the Grinch has an admin account and has installed a plugin that changes every mention of Christmas to butt miss. Somebody sneezed and it was so loud, like outside my door. Okay, okay, so we need to find this plugin and disable it so we can get the flag. You'll need to take over the Grinch account and disable the plugin to restore Christmas joy. Okay, first click the link, click the login link towards the top of the page and log in with the following credentials. Okay, McSkitty and then password. I'm just gonna copy and paste this, how about that? Yeah, work, work smarter, not harder, baby. Okay, we are logged in, all right? Now that you're logged in, you'll notice the navigation bar has now changed from login to settings and log out. Yes, it has. Okay. 
Click on the settings link and you'll notice a feature for changing McSkitty's login password. Try changing your password to pass123. Okay, let's do that. Settings, let's change the password to pass123. Update. And I remember from the video that up here it shows you in the URL bar the parameter that is setting your new password this is what we're going to exploit right here when you do this you'll notice your address bar changes to look like the screenshot below you will have a different ip address of course if you can somehow trick the grinch into visiting this url it will change their password to pass one two three okay that's what it looks like right yeah so we gotta trick the grinch into going into visiting this URL. Okay, now let's go back to the form. Okay. And visit one of the threads. Which one do we want to? Let's do butt miss preparations. Let's do that. Butt miss dinner. Butt miss dinner. What would everyone like to eat? Lots of roast potatoes. We love potatoes. It's not butt miss without butt miss pudding. That does not sound good. Remember the cranberry. That's right. McDatabase admin gets it. Um, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll notice you are able to leave a comment. Try leaving the following comment. Okay, we're going to copy and paste this. Okay, so that's our comment right there made by us McSkitty. And once your comment is posted, you'll see that the word world has been underlined okay this means that the comment is reflected as you wrote it okay oh so we're doing reflected not stored as you wrote it without the underlying html tags being stripped out as this isn't being stripped out you can try the html script tags instead to see if the website will run any driver script that is entered using the url you found earlier for changing the user's password, you can try the following payload. Okay, so let's try this JavaScript payload with the URL. Okay, this script tells the browser we want to run some JavaScript and fetch com in the fetch command. Okay makes network requests to a specified URL. After posting the comment the above after posting above as a comment you could view the web page source to see whether it has been shown directly. Okay let's post this. Okay there's nothing there so let's view the page source and it was down here right here. Let's make sure that it's the same panel default. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now that we have the accesses running on the form, it means that any logged in users viewing this the thread will automatically have their password changed to pass one two three so let's log out and see if the grinch has visited the thread by trying to log in as them it may take up to a minute before the grinch visits the page and changes their password we don't have time for the grinch okay we don't so let's log out log in and then we have to do grinch We're basically like playing a hack back game with the Grinch. And I really like that. That's so fun to me. Okay, so it did say it may take a minute for him to see you. So let's wait. We're gonna wait until 414. Okay, it's 414. Let's try this again. The Grinch better have logged in. 
It's past. You did past one, two, three, one. Right? Okay. He finally clicked on it. All right. We're in is him. Once logged in, go to the settings page. And this time you'll discover another feature with the option to just disable the Christmas to buttness login. So settings. And there we go. And a simple plugin which changes the word Christmas buttness across the whole platform. So let's disable. Brilliant. This plugin has been disabled and joy has been restored to the form. Okay. This is the flag here. Go back. And that we're going to paste the flag here. And we have finished day five for the advent challenge and i have gotten my five day streak yesterday i was so happy i got my four day streak but then i just lost all my footage this one was a bit confusing to be honest oh and then i want to highlight if you had trouble i kept thinking that my intercept um tab wasn't working because you need to make sure this is blue and it's on. I would kept clicking it thinking that if I click it, it will turn it on. And when it's grayed out, that means it's off. So make sure it's not grayed out. Make sure it's blue and it's on so that you can intercept requests. That's where I kept getting stuck at. But I was able to go to the HTTP history and still send the request, the request to intruder. And then this right here is going to be a little different on your on your burp suite instance um, i'm not sure if this was the same for in the attack box but i noticed on my burp suite my cali burp suite uh program that when i got to this payload um section right here i don't know if anybody else experiences but these this right here this would have like 75 here and then this would have like 15 i don't know why if you know why explain it to me but for payload set one which is uh referring to the admin parameter we set for that one um i just went in and like put my own uh simple list here and then for payload set two which is for the password parameter I used that list that they gave us um, the password list here um, and then set that in this section and then it I did the cluster bomb attack and I got the cookie password yeah so it was pretty easy it was just the instructions here weren't lining up and then the walkthrough video was kind of uh, weird but I will be going through chapter four and learning more about bird suite hopefully that'll close up some gaps that i have about the program and i can get more comfortable with it yeah that's about it for today that was pretty easy and um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it helps you if you get stuck i will be back tomorrow for day six hopefully there's no problems there's no technical difficulties and we can keep going strong with this daily challenge and i want to say thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment subscribe and have a good rest of your day